Continuing on with our new year, new you discussion, we are diving into the world of vision boards. Oh, yes. Please welcome uh, business coach for women, Tiffany Knapper, who says vision boards are not a woo-woo thing. <laughs> she, you actually call them action boards, which I love. Mm -hmm. Why create a physical collage of images when goal setting? Uh, because it's a really powerful tool, and there's actually a lot of data and science behind it. Oh. But we're not just like making a pretty visual Pinterest board, yes. we're actually trying to rewire our brain. And when we look at these images of what we want in our life, we're training ourselves to believe it's reachable, it's within our reach. And then what happens is we actually go out and take actions to support that. Interesting. I always thought vision boards were a little woo-woo. Um, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that yes. by any means. I love all of it. But I, I like that you say that there's kind of science behind it. Now, mm -hmm. moving along that line, you say there are five facets mm -hmm. that people should focus on when envisioning mm -hmm. what they want and making their vision boards. Sure, yeah. If you're like, where do I start? I always say health and wellness, relationships, finances, career, and then you can have a category that, that's like travel and fun, maybe what you want your house to look like, things like that. Those are five kind of categories you can keep in mind when you're cutting things out for your vision board. Oh, okay. So you brought some items yeah, for us I to did. create our own vision board. I did. Um, what is your favorite question to ask mm. uh, when working with someone? Yeah, I love, so when we're sitting down to work on a vision board and you're like, I don't know where to begin, and I've already cut a bunch of things out of a magazine okay. for you, but I love to ask you, what is your your happiest and healthiest self look like mm. and really take a moment and ask yourself like what is she wearing mm -hmm. where did she wake up what is she doing that day who's around her okay. and then look for those things when you're cutting things out of magazines or maybe you go on Pinterest and print some things out you're looking for things that represent that I also really really love to encourage people to put a photo of themselves on their board mm. so you're gonna notice I've cut out photos of oh. both of you ladies oh, yay. <laughs> so so cute. Put yourself on your vision board because remember, we're trying to rewire our brain right. and, al and allow ourselves to really see this as possible. Uh -huh. And seeing your own photo in the midst of these dream visions really helps with that process. Now, what happens if somebody puts together their vision board? I love the words, too. Mm -hmm. What does this say? The good life. The good um, life. And it doesn't come true. Sure. So they're kind of giving up hope. Yeah, and look, I hear you, and it, it happens to the best of us, and I would say kind of two things. Number one, keep believing. There's no, like, uh, shortcut or making a vision board doesn't magically mean that everything's going to happen tomorrow, mm -hmm. so give yourself some time. I had a vision board I made in 2016, and it took about until about 2020 mm -hmm. for some of those thing to things to come to fruition. So huh. keep Absolutely. believing. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, what is the craziest thing <laughs> that you've ever put on a vision board and actually seen manifest yeah. in life. In 2017, I was going through yoga teacher training. I cut out a photo of this woman who was on the cover of Yoga Journal, which was a national magazine. Didn't even know her name. And then fast forward over a year later, I'm sitting at the house of my business coach, and I realize she's the woman that was on the cover of Yoga Journal. Stop. I didn't even know it because she wasn't doing business coaching. I never knew her name. Um, and so it was like a real full body chill bumps moment when oh. I was sitting in her kitchen and I was like, she was talking about being on the cover and Whoa. I was like, oh my God, you're on my vision board. Because you um, flash back to when in yes. 2016 or 2017 when you put that on down. I put down. that down and I had no idea who she was. I never looked at the person's name and she looked kind of different on that cover than she looks in real life in my opinion. So her name is Kaylee Alyssa. She's one of my best friends to this day. Oh my and gosh. my favorite story is that she showed up on my vision board before she ever showed up in my life. Now uh, question for you, mm -hmm. where should you put your vision mm -hmm. board? Oh yeah, good I love question. that question. Oh, so make... I'm a big believer that you should put it in your line of sight where you see it on a regular basis um, and there's also some science behind putting it somewhere where you see it before you go to bed at night because our mm. subconscious works really well at night when we're dreaming so put it somewhere where you can look at it every day and really start to ask yourself what actions do I need to take to make this become my reality I love this well okay. I need to add that check and an <laughs> Emmy and yes. several other things to mind yes. but this is what we put down yeah I love what were it. the words that I, you I have the good life oh. money yes and and it just flows. Oh, and then, of course, good. a beach, because one day that's where I want to be. Yes, <laughs> which it will. Yes. The vision is there. And, and of course, I want to be an angel. <laughs> of course you do. You, you are, are an angel. An angel. Not are you kidding me? Well, thank you it. so much, Tiffany. Yeah. You at home, for more information on how to work with her, because you can get these tips and tricks, visit her website or socials at Tiffany Knapper and TiffanyKnapper.com. Thank yes. you.